All right, in this screencast, we're gonna be looking at how um, the cell can actually control whether it's going to divide or not within the cell cycle. So how, what are the things that will determine if a cell is going to go on and divide or not? And so just as a quick reminder, here's our cell cycle. Remember, we've got interphase, and then here's our cell dividing phase, the mitotic phase. And there's going to be a number of checkpoints along the way in interphase that will signal to the cell, okay, go ahead, you can keep going. All right, you can replicate the DNA. Oh, okay, keep growing. Okay, go ahead and divide. There's all these little checkpoints along the way that will either tell the cell to go on or not. So I like this little diagram because it's, it's showing you where some of these checkpoints are. The G1 checkpoint is one of the most important ones. So once the cell has, you know, starting to grow, getting bigger, getting bigger, then at some point it's going to go through this G1 checkpoint. If it doesn't pass this checkpoint, and this, this checkpoint you're going to see is controlled by a number of different proteins um, called cyclins. And if the cell isn't ready to divide, or if, it, you know, maybe there's something wrong with it, um, maybe, maybe it's going to become a cell that doesn't divide because it's um, nervous tissue or muscle tissue, then a lot of times that cell, it won't pass that checkpoint and it goes into what we call G0 and it probably won't divide. A lot of mature cells like nervous tissue and, and um, you know, muscle tissue and other things like that tend to actually not divide once they've differentiated. But if it goes past there and all of the, the external signals have um, allowed certain uh, proteins to be made and, and all the right chemical balances happen, then it's going to keep on moving. It'll synthesize uh, the DNA and then it's going to reach a G2 checkpoint, right? And that G2 checkpoint is going to determine whether that cell is going to start to divide or not. You don't need to have all of these checkpoints memorized, but just realize that the cell has throughout the cell cycle a, um, a series of checkpoints that will determine whether it's gonna go on to divide or not. Now, what controls these checkpoints are um, something called cyclins. Cyclins are proteins that actually activate enzymes that will help um, move around the machinery for cell division. So first of all, an enzyme is, is a molecule, it's a protein that catalyzes reactions in the body, okay? So any better metabolic reaction we have usually is going to be catalyzed by these cool proteins called enzymes. And kinases are enzymes that are going to attach to certain proteins within the, um, the apparatus of the cell, like the microtubules to make the spindle fibers. Um, and when those kinases can help um, move that machinery around, it gives it the energy it needs to carry out those tasks. Well, those kinases won't go and won't get to work unless they are activated by something else. And those are cyclins. So cyclins are proteins that will activate kinases. So they're called cyclin dependent kinases, these enzymes are. And so as you start to get chemical signatures in a cell that will start to turn on certain enzymes, certain ones of these kinases that will help um, move around the machinery in the cell to help it divide. So you can see there's certain cyclins that are increasing at certain times during the cell cycle. You can imagine that to get to get the cell to actually get into S phase, it's going to take plenty of cyclin E. So you can see the cyclin E is starting to um, is increasing in concentration, increasing in concentration. And if it's in a high enough concentration, then the cell probably will reach its checkpoint. That's a high enough concentration that plenty of the enzymes will be activated. And um, those kinases will be activated and it'll move machinery around and probably help with um, replicating the DNA. And you can see in the later ones, you've got to have enough of cyclin A to go past that G2 phase and enough of cyclin B to finally get pushed over into mitosis. So these cyclins are really important in determining whether the cell cycle um, is going to happen or not because they're activating enzymes that help um, move the machinery around within uh, the cells.